Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage. And boy, oh boy, do I have one heck of a muscle car dream to bring to you. It's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS. But guess what? This is an SS 396. But before we get into this Cortez Silver iconic muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Chevrolet Camaro. It was totally in response to the mighty Ford Mustang. Mustang came out in 1964 and a half as the 65 production year Mustang. Two years later, we have the 67 Camaro. Now, by 69, it was at the end of the line for what's called the first generation. First generation goes from 67 to 69. The second generation, which we've actually brought you a couple second gens from Dream Giveaway Garage, goes from 1970 all the way to 1982. Mind blowing how long that generation went on for. But what I really wanna focus on is talk about if you were to get yourself a classic muscle car and you're thinking between a Mustang, a Challenger, even a Pontiac Firebird or Trans Am, is the Camaro the king of the muscle cars? Let's go ahead, let's dive into it. Like I said, this color is called Cortez Silver, Cortez Silver Chevrolet Camaro SS and find out. Right off the bat, I really love the proportions and the dimensions of that first generation. At the front, you're gonna have that iconic style that actually was taken from the first gen. And remember when they came out with the sixth gen of the Camaro back in 2010, they kind of mimicked a lot of the styling off the front of this one. So you're gonna get your large circular headlights and then you're gonna have your flat black egg crate grill. Now what's interesting is that the grill comes to a point in the center to match the front bumper, to match the, the hood and the front fascia, and then of course that almighty badge SS. What does it stand for? Not super smart. Maybe some of the Chevy haters out there will say it means super slow. It means super sport. And that's what's gonna give us bigger engines, more horsepower, more performance. Now I love on the 69 how close the front bumper is to the body. Remember, as time goes by, the Department of Transportation is gonna regulate what's called five mile per hour bumpers. That was probably one of the things that really made car design very difficult after they came out with that law. That's where you had the bumpers that would extend off the front of the vehicle so that in a five mile per hour crash, they would be able to sustain the damage without affecting the rest of the body. But back in 69, you didn't have to worry about those five mile per hour crash bumpers. I do like on the bottom side, you're gonna have those circular fog lamps down below, additional lighting, and I love the way that we have this air dam. Really gives it a nice Trans Am race car look to it. Remember, the Chevrolet Camaro was one of the kings of the mighty SCCA Trans Am series during the golden era. Of course, the car that dominated was not the SS, it was a Camaro Z28, but still a lot of those design cues. Now, if you've ever wondered, well, Joe, how come on this Camaro SS, I could see the headlights? My friend's dad has a Camaro SS and the headlights are, the headlights are hidden. That's because your friend's dad's Camaro has the RS package. So you could get a SS RS. So that would be the bigger motor. But remember, RS is always about aesthetics. And one of the aesthetic touches, the changes that they made in the RS are the hideaway headlights. I personally, I like this look a lot more. Just has more of that mm, muscle car style to it. Now, as we rise up, like I said, that peak goes into the front fascia, into the hood. And on this hood, you have a nice high rise cal induction hood, air from the back near the windshield will enter the, air, the engine compartment. Even the little touches, look at the way they do the Camaro badge. Just everything's such detailed, such a classic appearance. Camaro by Chevrolet, love that. Now when we come around the bend, you're gonna notice some differences that aren't stock 69 Camaro. And that's the thing that I think is so cool about the car hobby is that 
you don't have to have it 100% original like they had it back in 1969 to have a great experience. You can make some changes. And on this one, you're going to notice that the suspension has been changed to lower it down a little bit. But you're also going to notice, of course, those wheels. But before we focus on the wheels, it's all about the badges. Back in the muscle car era, that's how you were able to tell the credentials of a car. This has that 396, 396 cubic inch V8. And I love the hockey stick stripe on the side there because obviously it looks like a hockey stick. Now, when we're looking at the wheels and tires, I'm digging the change that they made with these nice billet aluminum wheels. It's a 17 inch wheel. What that's gonna do for you, it's gonna allow you to have a lot different tire choices. Because remember, back in 1967, through 69, these cars had 15 inch, 14 inch, 15 inch wheels. And they had bias ply tires, which that old technology is not good. Not good for traction, and it's definitely not good for a riding, driving experience. Being able to switch over gives you a better choice. And with these BF Goodrich G4 Sport tires, you're getting a better spec of tire. 245 on the width, 45 series sidewall. Let me know if you like the style of the wheel with our Camaro. I think it works. I think it's perfect for the time period, perfect with our silver finish. You'll notice that we have discs up front, brake discs up front, which may not seem like a big deal, but a lot of cars back then, standard, came with drum brakes up front. So kind of crazy to think about how braking technology, tire technology is different today, braking technology is so different. Now coming down the side of the vehicle, of course we got our Camaro SS badge. It's all about the badges, baby. You do have, you can see with that hood, that cow induction, you see the open space, air's going in there for that carbureted V8. Love the way they have such a small style to the mirrors. And this was an option back then because standard, you would just get one mirror. The way that you could spec cars back then made them so unique. Each one was unique. Some could have power steering. Some could have manual steering. Some could have power brakes. Some could have manual brakes. Some could have four-wheel discs. Some could not. So nice back then to really be able to option things exactly the way that you wanted. Now working your way down, you'll notice on the 69s, you do have the little decorative trim here. If you notice on a 2010 Camaro, they made indentations to simulate this design to tie that retro style in but I do like the way they have that at the back. Speaking of the back, let's drop down and just take a look here. Now, tire size, still the same size, 275s all four corners. The reason why I wanna show you is I'm gonna have Steven zoom in. This has rear drum brakes. So that's what a drum brake looks like. You take that off and the pads are inside the drum. Not as effective for, for stopping power, of course. So I think if this was my car, I would upgrade to disc brakes out back as well. The good news is we got a posi traction rear end. What the hell does that mean? That means when you go on throttle, you're gonna be able to spin both tires because both tires are receiving power from that V8 engine. If it was not posi traction, then just one wheel would spin. We don't want that. We want posi traction and you got a 12 bolt rear end. What does that mean? That means that it's gonna be beefier to handle more power because that 396 underneath the hood has been massaged. And we'll talk about power and performance when we get to underneath the hood. Now, swinging around back, I love the way that you have that nice kick up rear spoiler, very classic muscle car-esque. You can see on the rear how the bumpers, the rear bumpers are nice and close to the body. And then the tail lights, the way they did the tail lights on this gen of Camaro, really, really classy. You have the SS badge in the center. And then of course you have that dual outlet exhaust slash cut on both sides to let that V8 rumble. And boy, oh boy, wait until I show you what's underneath the hood and take you for a spin. But it's about that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and pop the hood on this Camaro SS and see what's underneath it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Obviously, back then, you didn't have hood struts. This is how a hood opened. It was all through springs. What's interesting is that, thankfully, this has a metal hood because a lot of vehicles like Shelby GT350s, 
the fiberglass hoods would buckle a little bit because of the strength of the springs. And a lot of owners would take the springs off and just get a stick or a rod to hold the hood open. That way there's not pressure on your hood when the hood is closed. But look at what we have here. There she is in her Restored Glory SS396. Now you'll notice how you have this rubber grommet that goes all the way around the air filter because it's gonna seal around the bottom of the cow induction hood so that uh, that air gets sucked in down into the carburetor there. But what do we got going on? First of all, you'll notice that this particular car, even though it was optioned originally with air conditioning, does not have air conditioning. That just draws and drains power. Another thing I wanna show you is we have AFR aluminum heads. And if you're wondering why the heck did they paint it orange, is it Halloween? No, back then Chevy's, the blocks were painted orange from the factory. But what do we got going on? Now, if this was stock, stock, you're looking at what's called the L78. It's 396 cubic inch V8, 375 horsepower, 394 pound-feet of torque. Back then, all the numbers were actually registered lower than what the, rear, the real performance numbers were to try to keep insurance costs down. This one is mated to a turbo 400 automatic transmission. It's a three-speed. Or back then, you could get a Muncie four-speed manual transmission. We got a Holly Carb, aluminum, high-rise intake, and then this engine is equipped with forge pistons, forge crank, and like I said, those aluminum heads. Now, if you're wondering, well, what type of performance are we looking at? If this was stock, a 396 back in 69 would do zero to 60 in 6.8 seconds, the quarter mile in 14 seconds flat at 105 miles an hour. But this car obviously is not stock, so we don't really know but we know that it's definitely gonna be faster than the numbers I gave you. I wanna kinda of zoom back in and just show you some of my favorite touches. First of all, I love how they added long tube headers. Nice long tube headers, the headers coming off of the heads there, since hence the name headers. I said something about an Edelbrock aluminum high-rise intake. That is what this is. And obviously, anytime you use the word aluminum, that's a good thing because we're saving weight off the front of the vehicle. And I like the way that this engine has been built because it's got a nice stock appearance to it, but it's got some extra goodies, especially internally like the forged crankshaft and the forged pistons to not only give you better reliability, but to give you more performance. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this 69 Camaro SS and hear what it sounds like. guys we are inside this 1969 Camaro SS just a crazy experience sitting in this one especially because it's been restored so nicely and what I love about it is that some of the touches are restored exactly the way it was and some of the touches are not and that's okay now if you're saying to yourself well Joe this has always been a dream muscle car of mine I had a poster of a 69 Camaro on my wall as a kid growing up but I wasn't even alive back in 1969. But if I was, how much was this back then? This is gonna blow your mind. I hope you're sitting down. This had an MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, and it's got some good options to it. $4,126. Yes, you heard correctly. Not $40,000, $4,126. Let's see what you got back in 69 to the door panels. I love the simple style. You got the Camaro name badge, a little tiny armrest. You have your bright, shiny metal door handle to open up the door. And do you see that other thing there? That is what you use to crank the windows, to open and close the windows. No power windows in this car. 
Now going from the door panel to the dash, you got a nice oh crap handle. This one did come from the factory with AC, but it's been removed and it does have a heater. Metal glove box, like the way they put in another Camaro badge here. This is your ashtray and your cigarette lighter. And then this one has the optional rally pack gauges. Love the analog gauges for your engine temp, your battery voltage, fuel, and oil pressure going on. You'll notice where they have your vertical style of AC controls. And then you have your good old fashioned radio, no cassette, no a track and definitely not a CD player. This is going to control your three speed automatic transmission. A little bit of faux wood style going on. I like the way that you clip the lap belts into this little holder here. And this has the optional, not only the rally pad gauges, but the center console, which has a nice compartment where you could put a couple muscle car Twinkies. And believe it or not, a Twinkie from 1969, if you had one that was unopened, you can still eat it to this day. That's how many preservatives and different things they put in there to make it last an eternity. Seats, I love the classic vinyl with the hound's tooth. That's what they call this design, hound's tooth. You have your lap belt. Everything, of course, is manual. Shoulder belts are attached up here, but they weren't required. You know, people didn't, wasn't required to wear seat belts. I think for the first, I would say, 13 years of my life, I never wore a seat belt. And look, I made it. But why don't you come over here, I want to show you behind this teak wood steering wheel in this Camaro SS and show you what is lurking. Come on over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Now, let me show you something for all the millennials and Gen Zs and all the other people out there. This is how you used to roll up your windows, literally rolling up your window, up and down. Another thing, I like the way they have the nice metal sill, body by Fisher. GM used to work with Fisher for all their body chassis coach work. And then I want to show you something. So you have your e-brake, you have your brake pedal, you have your throttle. See that little metal nub right there? That's for your high beams. So you're just going to click it and click it. That's it. I like the way the seats look good, but from a support standpoint, not so much. There is no support, but it's better than sitting on the floor. So it's got that going for it. Steering wheel, like I told you, the teak wood, nice aluminum, the SS badge. You got a clock, analog clock in the middle that's actually still working. And then you have your tech and your speedometer, all analog, headlight control, windshield wiper. If you notice, you just have one stock here just for your turn signals, that's it. Everything else, super duper clean. Yes, you got a back seat, but guess what? Just like new Camaros today, in model year 2024, I wouldn't want to sit back there. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the trunk and see what 1969 was all about when it came to storage in the back of your Camaro. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I wanted to show off the trunk because this baby has been restored to perfection. I love the way it's got the nice trunk liner, just like it came back in 1969. And that is what they call a full-size spare. And that's how they used to mount it in the trunk. So you would actually lose a lot of room to have that spare in there. But that is how they used to do it back in 1969. But you know what? Oops, I don't want to, I'm trying not to be rough. There we go. You know what? It's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. I got the keys. I got a nice strip a road to take this thing. Let's go on throttle 69 style in this SS. All right, guys, we are inside this dream giveaway garage, 69 Camaro SS. It just takes you back to a simpler time just by getting inside the car. I love the rally pack gauges. Everything else in here is just very well laid out. And it's not about cup holders and places to put your phone and infotainment systems and all that garbage. It's just the downright nitty gritty of what you need. But of course, we gotta go on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Love that V8 sound. The way that this car 
just drives is it just gives you such a great feeling creates emotion inside of you and it's what the muscle car era was all about and it's kind of interesting to think about like if the mustang never came to be would we ever have gotten a chevrolet camaro that's the big mystery but i just love the driving experience in any classic camaro and for me the first gen is just extra extra special seeing that big huge bulge in the hood the cal induction in the hood and all of the work that's been done to this car to make it a little bit more resto modded really shows nicely when you're driving it the suspension has a better feel than just stock the engine obviously has that additional power but if you're ready i'm ready on fire we go Woo! golly i love it <laughs> it just makes my heart pitter patter to hear those eight cylinders firing off it's just a it's just a, a a cooler time back then and yeah even though we didn't have supercars back in 1969 breaking the land speed record. It's just something about the experience. It doesn't even matter how fast we're going. The sound, the rawness just makes it so much fun and so unique. I love when you're going down the road and people are doing a double take because they're not expecting to see a 69 Chevy Camaro going down the road. And the way that back then, you could spec these cars so many different ways, made each one so unique. Sounds damn good. And the fact that you have some amenities like power steering, air conditioning. Of course, we have a radio. Would have been nice to have an A-track in here. Listen to some Led Zeppelin, some Doors, the Beatles. The 60s were just a cool time. You had people like Steve McQueen making amazing movies. I mentioned some of the the bands back then, Rolling Stones. And then you had the auto manufacturers, the big three were, were so on fire back in 1969. And then of course, you can't forget about the sister brand to the Chevrolet Camaro, Pontiac with the Firebird and the Trans Am. But this is what makes the car hobby so awesome is you could have a brand new Camaro and you can enjoy it, you could do things to it, you could take it to the track, you could take it to car shows, cars and coffee events. But if you don't want to go new school, you could go old school as well. And if you do it right, you can make them very reliable. For one thing, they're super easy to work on. Especially when you saw underneath the hood all the space that you have to get to the plugs, to get to the wires. Obviously a little bit different experience from modern fuel injection to carburation, but everything is learnable. And you know that there is a YouTube video out there to show you how to tune a carburetor. I can guarantee you that. But I'm just so happy to not only be able to share this experience with you, but to be able to review cars that are in the Dream Giveaway Garage that really are just time capsules and allow you to really enjoy the art and the act of driving. I think we need to do one more on throttle before we wrap this up. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know about you. Are you ready? Because I'm definitely ready. Here we go. 
gonna let the road straighten up. What? There we go. <laughs> oh. It just makes you feel like a kid. It really does. And that's what being a car enthusiast is all about. Having fun behind the wheel of your favorite car. But we're gonna go ahead. I hope that this has been a nice on throttle back in time kind of time warp experience we're going to get back to dream giveaway garage and wrap up this chevy camaro ss so i'm going to go ahead and see you in a split second see you guys all right guys it's been a muscle flexing muscle car kind of day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely want to thank Lori, Ryan, Chris, and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 69 Camaro SS 396. The best news is, is that this giveaway is actually a twofer. You get this and you get a Chevelle SS. I don't know how they do it, but they do it at Dream Giveaway Garage. Now, if you want a greater chance to win, remember, if you use the Radies Rise promo code, that's going to get you double the giveaway chances if you spend $25 or more. And I don't get paid to say that. That is just something that Dream Giveaway Garage wants to give to you to give you a greater chance to win. But guess what? If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, definitely come back and thank you for your support. We got to give a big, huge thank you to Stephen Flood working that camera like a champ. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.